Save our streets before it's too late. The homicide rate in Philadelphia is already soaring higher than this time last year. Today alone, another teen could have lost his life. Our Jenny Joyce has that story. Gun violence in this city is just brutal, and we're seeing a number of teenagers lose their lives. Today, a teenager was shot in the Frankfurt section of the city. He is going to be okay, but as you'll see, the surveillance video really paints a clear picture of the brazen nature of these crimes. Neighborhood surveillance video shows teens with backpacks on hanging out before the bell rings at Frankfurt High. But instead of a bell at 7:55 a.m., they watch a white car roll down the alleyway near Oakland and Fillmore streets, and then hear the terrifying sound of at least four close-range gunshots. Their 18-year-old classmate on the ground. According to police, the teen is in stable condition. Miraculously, no one else was hurt. This shooting less than a block from the high school. Unfortunately, I mean, you're seeing you're seeing the, the, the victim count uh, rise. Many victims, school students. Last night, just before 7 p.m., a 16-year-old boy was shot and killed on the 2600 block of Hutchinson Street. Friday night, a 17-year-old girl was shot and killed in East Mount Airy while she was sitting in a car with three other people. I'm just tired of it. I'm just really tired of what's going on. I'm trying to keep these kids safe. Nafisha Lewis of Power Circle Mentors in Frankfurt say she and her colleague Buddha Thomas run a Tuesday night program for young people to keep them safe, engaged, and off the streets. Teach them how to make candles, yeah. teach them how to make t-shirts, you know, to be entrepreneurs and make their own money on their own. So we want to keep these kids busy, um, keep bringing them to these after school programs. Lewis and Thomas say they'd like to see more parental engagement. Police say they need everyone in the the community to step up to fight this crisis. When we're seeing kids shot and this younger generation shooting uh, as much as they are, we, we absolutely need people in the community who, who know these kids that can kind of communicate that to us. We absolutely need uh, the, the public's help on this. The homicide count rising right now, it stands at 32, and that's roughly a 36% increase over this time last year. Reporting from police headquarters, I'm Jennifer Joyce, Fox 29 News. And now the question is, what will you do to help stop the violence? If you have ideas or possible solutions, please reach out to us. Go to fox29.com to find resources and watch more Save Our Streets stories.